Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and our continuing coverage of iRace for Life 2016. And now up we have Doug Gerard from I Analyze Racing. Almost got that out. <laughs> it's a long thing to say, but hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here and coming to the event, which this is, this is your people. Yeah, this is it. The, 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 definitely my target audience. Yes. And love being here. I was, we sponsored the event last year and this is, and didn't have the time to get down here. I'm really happy that I had the time to, to make it down here. Met a lot of neat folks and um, had a lot of good ideas. And it's really kind of fun to see all these enthusiasts all, all in one spot. So. Absolutely. No, it's so it's just it's just so great to see everyone in person and faces. And like you said, yep. And uh, so you got got a lot of got some new ideas to go back and work on. Oh, always. <laughs> and that's the best part. I mean, one of the things I told the guys yesterday, and, and I finally found the right way to say it. It's funny how you always learn the right thing to say after you should have said it. Ah. But, you know, I Analyze Racing is my project, but it's my customer's tool, and I want to make it perfect for them. And that's, you know, so I'll do whatever I need to do to, to make sure that they have all the features and the support that they need. So sure, and that, sure. that's kind of a neat thing. Sure. So speaking of an I Analyze Racing, so what's it, what's it all about? What's it all entail? Because I know there's quite a bit to it. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's an interesting piece. It started off as just a pure data acquisition program. I mean, my background is I've been in racing for about 25 years. Um, I've been writing software, uh, initially data acquisition software that's been used in professional teams, Trans Am, NASCAR and such. Um, and then I moved over to doing uh, motion control and uh, test systems, testing shocks, sway bars, springs and other components, bump rubbers uh, by NASCAR, Formula One and, and those teams. So this is kind of up my alley. And guys got me dragged into iRacing and said, hey, we need data acquisition for this. And I went and said, okay, great, let's go make the data acquisition. And so I wrote that. And then as you do that, there's, you start to notice the shortcomings that you find with iRacing. Um, trying to do a pit stop and trying to hunt down all the right keys to make the right things happen. Oh, well, geez, we got voice, voice recognition. Why can't you make voice recognition do that? So that gets added in. So I, I analyze has grown up from being just data acquisition to now having a lot of features that really just make it easier to use from the pit countdown, the voice commands, um, setup tracking so you never have to save your own setup, it just magically does it and stores it in your data file with the data acquisition. So you always can get back to that magic setup that you really liked after you've made seven changes and forgot what they all were. Oh, <laughs> we've all been there. Yeah, and, that, and that's, the, that's the beauty of it, I think, is, is that you can, it's, it, it, you can really see the benefit of it and guys really enjoy it. And we're coming out with newer things, like one of the things uh, guys had always asked is they didn't like the fact that they shared data with everybody all the time. Guys are protective of their setups, so, yep. and that's understandable. And so they were going, boy, can't we have it, we could just share it with these five guys. And that's where I Analyze Racing Teams has come from. And starting in May, you're gonna be able to um, have a team, you get a team blog and a, and a team lap library where you can save everything and it, and it shares everything, only with, but only with your guys. And you'll get email notifications when somebody uploads a lap, so you're never missing the magic setup for the race if you're late to the race or what have you. Wow, that's, that's gonna be really powerful. I, I, I can see why people would want something like that. Especially, I mean, it's crazy with sim racing these days, you know, top guys, you gotta be on a team. Like you gotta, oh, yeah. you gotta be working with people. I mean, it's not the really. I don't really think there's anyone who's going solo anymore out there. So. Well, and in fact, you know, we've got uh, Keystone Motorsports, Inex Racing. Um, both of, both of those are I analyze partners. Yep. Um, I'm really happy to be working with them, and they, they they're the ones that have been kind of driving the development. And you know, Keystone has been a, a, a big player and really kind of putting the final touches on, on what we've been doing and driving, you know, hey, we need this, hey, we need that. Um, look, can, you, can you make it not do this? <laughs> we, have, so. we have first-hand experience that I think it's helping them because they're fast because we were racing them all, all night at the uh, Daytona 24 hours this year in the second split. We couldn't get away from those guys. So no, hey. it's definitely <laughs> making them faster. Way to go, guys. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
So with the, with the team features, is that going to be integrated into the current iAnalyze yes. software? It's not going to be a separate thing. It's going to be all. No, it's all it's all it's all bundled right together. And there's a new team button that'll list the teams that you can be a member of. Because you can be a member of more than one team. Mm -hmm. You get automatic notifications. There's a little blinking light, just like you have in iRacing when you get a new memo, um, or a new or a new email or or, or, or private message. Um, that you know that there's a new lap, and if there's a new lap, you hit the button, you select the team, and there's the lap. You click on it, it downloads it right away, and you can compare it. Um, the guys wanted that because guys would help. One guy would be driving, and the other guy would be crew chiefing, taking a look at, and wanted to see his laps. And of course, you can only get the laps when they're shared by the driver. So that was the the, the impetus for making that happen. So. Sure, sure. So back to the things up. How long has iAnalyze been around, and was it one of those things where you were just you got into iRacing, you're kind of like, I want all these other toys that I've been used to playing with in my sandbox from all your years of racing, you know, real world racing. Yeah, well it was, yeah, it, I Analyze has been on the market for a year. It took me about a year and a half to put together. So it's about two and a half years old, really. Um, but it was prompted by my friends who dragged me into iRacing. And you know, originally I was, I was kicking and screaming, no, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna be a time suck. It's gonna take all my life away. And you know, for a while it did, because I was racing every chance I'd get, get up in the morning, do a, you know, do a lap, or do, do a race at Pocono or something. Sure. And, um, and, but it turned into actually something that's a lot of fun, because I have the most fun one of my products being used by folks and talking with them and seeing how they're how they're using it because folks use stuff di differently than the way I envision and it's kind of cool to see how other people think and and do that and to hear that they're going faster because of it ah, I love it it's great <laughs> so with the whole iRacing system and having updates come out you know four updates a year like that and, and such does that require you to constantly be updating the software for any time there's a new build oh this changed that changed maybe you get a new piece of information you can play with so is there just a constant uh, updating process? Sure, and it, it's not only just from the iRacing stuff, although iRacing is pretty consistent and pretty good. Probably the only thing that, that, that's been a bit of a headache for me from that point of view is name changes. Series names uh, change, cars name change. Yeah. Not a big deal. Uh, you know, the, the um, really interesting bits is, is what customers demand and, and, and ask. And just about everything now is being customer driven. They're asking for, you know, um, just a guy wanted to be able to have a voice command to say, hey, can you give me the last five lap average of, for, for timing? So when he's working on setups, he would just know his time just by asking. And that's going to be going in the next build. Sure. <laughs> so, and that's, but that's the kind of thing. I like to have that kind of response to folks. And I think it makes it useful. I mean, again, it's my project, their tool. <laughs> so. Gotcha, gotcha. So in terms of, of using the software, is it all, it, do you get real-time data feeds? Is it something you can have a, a second a monitor off to the side and be able to look at that while you're in a practice session? Or is it more like a data dump after the practice session? How, do, how does that work? Um, it's probably not best used as, as, as a live feed, but you have it running in, in your session. So you go do five laps, pull into the pits, alt tab, go yep. over to I, I analyze racing, then your laps are there. Gotcha. And it's smart enough to bring in all of the data that iRacing doesn't let you see while the laps are running, so you can get your ride heights and your tire temperatures and all of that. Um, so you can bring them in, so you can make setup decisions right then and there. You can, so you can go back into iRacing, make your setup changes, go do five more laps. Meanwhile, iAnalyze is still sitting there recording, and as it records, it'll go and it'll save the setups, so you never lose anything, and it'll and you just keep using it like that. We've just added some more features where you can control what and how it does stuff. So if you're if you're running and you have a, a, a little bit slower computer and you want to have iAnalyze do nothing but just record the data, it can do that. And then you just at the end of your session when you exit iRacing, it'll load it in, kind of like what you would expect with with other data acquisition programs. Um, one of the nice things about it is it is very very tightly integrated with iRacing. It is written specifically for iRacing. Um, we get just about all the data you can imagine from the individual cars, but also the signals that iRacing sends us for all the other drivers in your session. So if there's a really fast guy in your session, you can compare your speed trace to his speed trace and figure out where you're going faster. You can also see where he's turning in, what gears he's using. And we also can figure out a little bit of what gear set he's running as well. So there's some stuff you can infer from the data that is really kind of interesting and, and I think is helpful to folks. And it gives you a, a definitely a way to say, if I'm not the fastest guy, a, a way to improve, even if you don't have another lap other than the guys your session. Yeah, see I like that because that's because that's kind of like a, a workaround because you go like in replay mode and watch someone else go around the track. You know, iRacing doesn't let you see the gear, the gear changes and all that kind of stuff. But I like that you can kind of get that data and be like, oh, that's what he's doing. 
That, that yep. seems really useful. Oh, it is. And, 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 there, and you don't get much more data than that. I mean, and you can kind of infer some things about what's going on and what a setup might be like, but you can't, but all you're doing is just taking a look at his speed trace and saying, hey, he looks like he's braking a little earlier than I am, or I got to think about that, and maybe he's carrying more speed through the mid corner or, or what have you. So even though the company is iAnalyze, I was wondering, is there any thoughts to maybe take this into an I, R factor, I instead of Corsa, I project cars in the future. Yep. I guess it wouldn't be I. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, eventually, maybe. I, the, the, you know, the I racing. I want to focus on I racing right now. There's a lot still left to do. There's a lot of there's a, a, a lot of features I'd like to add, and and give folks more support in individual things. Um, and that's been a. Uh, um, you know, the I racing folks have been very good and very supportive, and I want to. I really want to get where get it where to where it's a mature product and can stand on its own before I look to expand else, out elsewhere. So, how much is the software, and where can people purchase that? Okay, if you go to, to www.ianalyzeracing.com, and it's available there for uh, thirty nine ninety five is what it costs for a year. And there, if you use the promo code Gerard-12, I believe that'll get you 5% off. So that's at least a, a, something there. Um, and happy to, happy to have folks do that. Um, and it's, I think it's a really good program. We have over like 35,000 shared laps, which is a pretty big database considering we only take the top 10% of laps that are submitted to us because they have to be within a certain amount of time. So you only get, you know, they're really high quality, or I think they're high quality laps, so. Wow, awesome. Doug, thank you for uh, thank you joining us and be able to talk more about I Analyze Racing. And uh, again, thank you for joining us from iRace for Life 2016. I'm John Sable. Thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. See you guys next time.